Yeah, I mean, he can't even do anything yet. Yeah, yeah, you're in for a major reality check. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? We are on the 8th episode of ReZero, which I just glanced at the title and it immediately put a smile on my face because it's called I cried, cried my lungs out and stopped crying. <laughs> uh, no idea what it's exactly pertaining to, probably Subaru. I don't know, like Subaru is turning into a much more emotional character, you'd almost say, uh, as of recently. At least he's starting to accept, you know, some of the emotions that he's feeling, I guess. And yeah, that's what made the final scene in the last episode so great, right? With him literally going ahead and committing suicide in order to hopefully be able to save, um, yeah, one of the Rem's lives basically moving forward right and figuring out exactly what is going on i don't know but like the last episode really brought the show to a new level for me where i've been loving it from the start right i mean i i think one of ReZero's strengths is easily its likable cast of characters subaru himself you know amelia is cool um i really honestly like both rems and beatrice i feel like they they added just what i needed to it and i'm so glad honestly that like it didn't turn out that, you know, uh, uh, the blue-haired Rem, I think it was, right? Um, you know, that she was on the evil side, let's say, quote-unquote. Because that's what it was looking like for a second there after the um, uh, episode 6, I think it was, right? Where they teased her being behind the attacks and killing Subaru and stuff. But then it turned out that, like, oh, she was just trying to protect Amelia and didn't trust Subaru. Which, yeah, I mean, I guess somewhat understandable. <laughs> so, uh... It's, it's, it's nice, because for a second I just hesitated, like, oh shit, it, does she somehow have anything to do with the witch? Um, and with, um, you know, like, again, it's still hard to even make out what the evil side is or something, if there is an evil side or just evil entities or whatever, but we've got obviously the witch that is very mysterious and we don't even know who the witch is, and then we've got Elsa, who definitely, I mean, yeah, if there's one evil character so far, it's her, right? simultaneously i'm still thinking about that tease which this is already like i don't know episode three i think this this might have been with reinhardt who didn't trust felt and the insignia because of the like i don't know it was like the moonlight shining on it or something right there was there was something going on there and we haven't revisited that whatsoever rather we've just gotten sidetracked well i don't know if it's really a sidetrack it's just a new phase of the story now uh, in the mansion you know the roswell mansion of course yeah uh, well, if there's one character who I'm not sure whether to trust, it would be Roswell himself. You know, uh, our favorite emo clown. But <laughs> th that's honestly only based on his appearance. Uh, other than that, I can't say I have reasons to suspect him whatsoever. But, you know, if, if he belongs to the rest, then yeah, he probably can be trusted too, I guess. But who knows. Um, like I said, last episode was great because not only am I starting to appreciate all the characters a lot more as we're moving forward, uh, just like Subaru is, I really like what they did with Subaru there, once again deciding to go and kill himself. Um, at the same time, I'm also thinking about some of the mystery and how we, for example, learned that like Subaru was trying to spill the secret finally about his respawning, right? And the safe points and everything. But then he couldn't. There was this fear stopping him. And it's like, okay, okay clearly he's been sort of programmed or something by the by the witch i think they figured right so what is that about when did that happen in the first place like was that a thing from the start is it something that could have happened in the first episode there's still something going on there too with of course amelia who introduced herself as satala uh in the first episode and satala i think yeah satala is supposed to be the witch right that's the you know they keep calling her the witch of envy i think it is uh the witch of the jealous witch or whatever um, but yeah, Satala is apparently her actual name, right? And that's why Amelia was so offended when Subaru said, Hey, Amelia, uh, hey, Satala. <laughs> uh, so what's that about? Could it mean that like the Amelia that Subaru met in the first episode was not actually Amelia, but it was like, it was the witch disguising as her or something like that? Man, I, I kind of feel like revisiting the first episode now and seeing what could have happened there. If there was a moment where maybe we saw... You know, like like Amelia do something to Subaru uh, that that could that could explain all of this or something. You get what I'm saying? But but I honestly have no idea, guys. We're gonna dive into episode eight. I've done enough talking. Um, 
for now, if you enjoy my reactions to ReZero, then of course you can watch the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which will be linked on top of the description. Over there, we're already going to be on episode 16, so you can go and catch up on all those reactions straight away. Full-length versions will be up there too if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. And then with that being said, let's dive into episode 8 of ReZero. I guess we're respawning immediately. Yep. <laughs> well, it was this caring mindset that they had that got him to do it, right? That's what he appreciated so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what he uh, felt. When he touched Beatrice, I think. Your very birth was a mistake. Yeah. That's a little poetic. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> How the turns have tabled. I'd be weirded out myself personally, but. Okay, we're back to working. Okay. そして二つ目、ローズワール帝王を襲う呪術師の。シャーマン。激派だ。夕食の準備に部屋掃除。ちょっと休憩したら仕事に戻らねえと。I <笑><笑> love I would not actually going back to like immediately, you know, where things happen, but like we're just going to do the slice of life stuff first again. Right. She talked to the lesser spirits as well. Okay. Yeah, that reminds me of Mushika Tensei, where that's been happening too. Yeah, I mean, he can't even do anything yet. Figure out your attributes. Oh, okay, just like Avatar. I don't think he's got any. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're in for a major reality check. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Shadow. All rejected. Well, at least he's got one. That's a better outcome than I had expected. Struck an opponent's vision, block sound, slow movements. Debuffs. Okay, well. Shamak. Oh, shit. I mean, it is kind of reminiscent to how we've seen him a couple of times, right? In the show? Is that why? Like, does it have to do also... Uh, probably not, but... Does that have to do with, like, the fear that he feels too, in some way, or... It could be entirely unrelated, to be fair. <laughs> well, I can see you screwing up really bad, let me put it like that. What the hell? Oh, oh god, yeah. Oh, dude, I think Amelia's clothes are still ruined right now. 
completely covered in ash or what? Yeah, that I figured. The ma <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're 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 a soy boy. <laughs> Literally. Chew. What she put in his mouth? Some kind of spicy oh boko fruit. Okay. Is it tasty though? Hmm. Yeah, she's she's very caring. Oh, here we go again. Discussing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's... I think that was just like the last time, right? <laughs> Ask Beatrice. What? Oh, right, they could smell that in Subaru or something, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. Exactly. Satela. Oh my god. What a backstory. Starved for love. A half elf with silver hair. Well, who do I know that looks like that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why Emile uh, felt so offended. And said, there's no way I would have ever told you I'm called Satala. Ah, dude, I so don't get it. It's like, but I think the current Amelia can be trusted for sure. <laughs> Again. He always is. You wish. You wish. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> They're not gonna let you win on those secrets, my guy. There we go. They're in love with each other. <laughs> Nowhere. They're saying the threesome, my guy. Is Buck even male or female? Do we know this? <laughs> oh, I love this dynamic, man. Yeah, clearly. Not very talkative. Oh, shit. What's back and forth cutting right now? Uh, like what? Like he has something on his mind, right? Or he has a mission. He's not telling people about. <laughs> Is this like did he do this purposefully or what's this about? <laughs> Rembrandt. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, you're, you're just making yourself look more suspicious to her now, though. But that's the thing. Like, I mean, he was already acting so happy-go-lucky and she wasn't trusting him whatsoever, right? Oh, shit, he's feeling it again. That's why I didn't quite understand why he felt like he had to sort of earn that trust. Man, this is not going... This is not going well at all. Look how he's acting on the outside compared to how he's feeling on the inside. It's night and day. I guess he figures like he has to do his best so much that they won't suspect him. Man, yeah, it's definitely taking a toll on him, though. Yeah, but it's like, what else can you do? They're not gonna... They're not gonna trust you regardless. If you're gonna be even less helpful than you were before. So, I guess that's what he figures. Ooh. I don't know if that's a good thing, though, that she's inviting you. Oh my god. Yo, Subaru is so damn chaotic in this episode. <laughs> She's done with you. Yeah. This... I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking this could get really bad, but... She gonna let him in on a secret or something, or... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, these angles, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to read this, this scene right now. That I guess. Her whole behavior is like giving me suspicious vibes, though. I don't know if I'm reading into that correctly, however. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, this is turning into a fucking ASMR anime. This <laughs> Damn, what was he thinking about just now? Oh, shit. Yeah, she made him break. Whoever voices Subaru, man, did a fantastic job this episode. Give that man a raise. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we want Rem coming in there, though. Huh. I guess it's a good thing that she gave her that signal. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you are. She always says, I suppose. I love it. Biko. <laughs> oh, 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 Beako, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love, I love her mannerisms as well. Clearly. I suppose so. Physical contact with the curse's target. Oh, Goth. 
Wow, you just touched somebody who might have put a second curse on you. Did he, did he, did he touch Amelia in the first episode? Wait, wait, I gotta think that one through. Why did she die? Yeah, you can you can play with the hair again. <laughs> I don't even know what half the shit means, man. God, what a great episode. <laughs> okay, never mind. Just keeps going. It was the lap pillow. Oh yeah, one of them saw. Here we go again. Thank you. Exactly. That means more. <laughs> okay. What are we going back to the village for? To the village but i don't know man i don't know how to read anything in the show anymore all right guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already and of course you can watch the next eight episodes straight away over on patreon which will be linked on top of the description go and check it out man yeah i'm not gonna lie but everything goes so fast in this show like the amount i mean honestly i feel like the full 24 episode uh 24 minute episodes are like covered with dialogue right so i'm already having a hard time commentating about it in the in the process but again it's like you go from moment to moment to moment and characters are sort of figuring out strategies and clues that they're telling you about but it's like you don't even really get time to process what do they mean by this right for example one thing like a simple thing that i kept honestly questioning as i was watching the episode is like what is subaru trying to do here by earning their trust or whatever right because we saw how that like worked out last time he technically had already been trying to earn that trust because he was being nice you know Subaru wasn't doing anything wrong in recent uh episodes or something but I guess he felt like he could have done a better job ultimately at it even more so right that would have earned that trust but then we see the scene nonetheless between Rem and Roswell and we realize that they're still talking about um Subaru in a in a pretty suspicious way and actually reading up real quick on the summary of the episode I came to realize as well that like this apparently was them talking about him in an even more suspicious way than last time <laughs> so uh yeah I, I i don't really know if it's any effective um then at the same time now there's the conversation with beatrice where <clears throat> she talks about this curse that can be placed on somebody through physical contact right um which what he figured i guess ultimately as i was thinking about it is that the reason why Rem actually ended up dying last time is because he didn't go to the village, but she, I guess, did, right? So she must have come in contact with somebody that put the curse on her that caused her to die. The question is, who in the village could have done that? Um, have we even... Man, I'm, I'm like, I'm literally trying to recall moments in the episodes too, and, and it's like, pff, so much happens, like I said. I don't know if we even... Like, we did see him go to the village, I think, but did we see him actually coming across anybody there? I don't think so. I don't think we've seen many more significant characters yet or something, right? So what's going on? I mean, I can at the same time, of course, help the fact that, like, something is up with Amelia. And if there's one person who I do know, you know, Subaru is in plenty physical contact with, <laughs> especially as we saw in this episode, it's her, right? Putting his head in the lap and stuff. Um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, again, like Beatrice talked about the witch... And the fact that she literally looks like Amelia. So what's the deal with all of that? I mean, it's basically what I'd figured already, right? There's something fishy going on there for sure. The question remains what? Lots of questions for now, guys. I'm going to be thinking this through a little bit more. And then I'll definitely be, uh, yeah, getting back to you all about it uh, in the next episode. So 
do look forward to that. But for now, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in. Of course, if you enjoy my reactions to ReZero, you can watch the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which will be linked on top of the description. Over there, we're already going to be on episode 16. So go and check out all of that straight away. Full-length versions will be up there too, of course, if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. And then with that being said, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.